<laughs> I like sword. Hey everybody, I'm Magnus Sword 2. I recently played uh, episode 5 of Life is Strange uh, as somebody who's been playing Life is Strange from episodes 1 to 4 on the day they come out. I was pretty happy to find that uh, episode 5 to come out. Now, when I started the episode, I was thinking, oh sweet, they're going to type some loose ends. Yeah, yeah. Well, pretty much I found that we got a bit of play with Jefferson, talking to Jefferson. Loads of picture jumping and it was like, okay, there must be leading somewhere with this. Maybe we'll get to go through different pictures. I even saw at one point there was an album where it had all of Max's pictures in it saying, oh, maybe we'll be able to go through different parts of the album and change things for the ending that way. Nope, that got burned pretty easily. Anyway, my main problem here is not the episode in general, even though there was a lot of filler. There's this bit where you have to go around saving people from the storm, which is pointless, really, because both endings don't account for that. Then there's this weird nightmare segment that just felt like they were stalling for time. Uh, it was... it wasn't very good. Anyway, my main problem is this. Lo and behold, your choices do not matter! Fuck thee, viewer, because you have been shit-hanged! Yes, that's right, people, you have the choice of two! Only two endings! Now, I'm saying I only took this ending because, hey, I like Chloe. I spent the entire game trying to save Chloe. I want Chloe to live. But no, we get this crazy, like, five-minute segment of us walking through a destroyed town and then riding off in a car. There's no... no emotion to it. No, no tension. Nothing. You get no confirmation of a, of a relationship. You get no... Like, friendship, no, well, at least we're still alive speech, or laughing or anything. They just drive off like Thelma and fucking Louise. More like Spongebob and Patrick from the way this story would have us know. Uh, I haven't tried the other ending because, quite frankly, I'm a bit rare about even going back to the game after this. Look at this, I mean, I, they gave us choices. Choices that are supposed to affect things. But no! No, none of this mattered. You saved all these people from dying, only if you went into this ending, they'd die anyway. You saved their lives, but they'd die anyway. You go into this ending, oh, okay, fine, they live, yay. You saved people's lives, but Chloe's dead, so does it fucking matter anyway? Now, the thing that was bad about this is the whole ending sort of goes back to uh, when you go back to the first episode where you save Chloe from being shot. Now, the problem with this is you undo your entire game by choosing this you choose to just go back and stop the very first choice you made and physically make a choice to wipe out all your choices you've made throughout the entire game. Now, what's the point of that? Seriously, why would you even do that? Why would you go back to the beginning of your game and say, I want to start from level one and stay at level one for the rest of the game? Ah! Now, this ending, this ending would make some sense. Just like, all right, this is our character's reward. You've done some good stuff. No, you haven't. You get the game basically tells you, you fucked up. You've done a shitty ending. Look at what you've done. Fucking stay in bed and cry for the rest of the night. You killed the whole town. Oh, but you've got Chloe, but she doesn't really look very happy about it. Uh, what the fuck, don't nod. Why did you do this to us? You gave us these whole promises of loads of endings that would be grey in morality and help us do things. But no, you give us fucking Mass Effect 3! Why? Why would you do this? Uh, I... I just, this entire thing has made me upset, the quality of the first four episodes was amazing, the ending was horrible, and it revoked the quality of the other four endings, it didn't put in click, click key plot points, this here, this fucking meant nothing, no matter what you did here, nothing came of it, there was nothing good, nothing came of this, except for maybe a conversation with Frank or something, I don't know. This got mentioned a little bit, that got mentioned a little bit, but there was no consequences. No consequences at all for these. Nothing came of these. Oh, there was a little bit of something with Kate. Like, if you let Kate live, then she basically, in your nightmare, goes and has a go at you for, like, saving her life. Th that's about it. Meh. This got a little bit, but it ultimately doesn't result in David not saving you from the dark room. So what the fuck, what's the point of that? This, all this, that was mentioned a tiny bit, but... Only as in a small regret. This, nothing, no. The, the, even in the episode, Jefferson makes tons of hints as to him knowing what you're doing. Even in the nightmare, there's a bit that says, hey, if you're here, you're dead. Tons of shit. I didn't even know what that thing was. It was an 
big pile of consciousness just swirling about like a casserole. Like you're trying to avoid the little bits of meat, but you have to run around a bit to meat. I didn't understand. So all in all, two choices. Two bullshit choices. Yeah, I would sacrifice Chloe or sacrifice the town. Nothing really comes of either, which makes you glad that you got those endings. Either way, you seem shit. And I feel shit for having going through this entire game. And I'm stuck here making a rant video because I'm so amazingly pissed off about how they drew me in and then just threw me at a wolf or something. One thing I will say is if you ever want to play Life is Strange in your life, and you've played Life is Strange now, don't. This, this here, this, you can only go two ways and that's it. It just feels like a massive betrayal of the way the narrative's been going, the things it was suggesting, what could possibly have happened, but no. The music in the game was great, the story was great right up until the last episode. I feel like the last episode was made completely on the cheap, it's let me down and I feel so upset from having played this that now I just hate the rest of them. I feel like I don't have any faith in Don't Nod at all, I, I won't play their future games, I won't give them any attention or talk about them to my friends, I, I feel completely let down and that is it. This has been a rant. The only rant video I've made on this channel. I could possibly do more if I wanted to, but uh, uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Bye-bye.